Hello boys and girls, this was Crazy the type Johnny. of music that your parents used to listen to. Old this school. was their world back when they were young enough to not even mention you. And the hair twirl, chilling at the mall drive through was the thing to do. So shut up and get down in the Indian style mm. before I get the bell to proceed to punish you. I'm sorry boys and yeah, girls, Indian I have a little too push. much to drink. <laughs> I need some tape and some super glue. Yeah, moonwalking mm. little kids at the Never Everland Ranch where he roamed. My Jack. Little boys in the pants, never oh, washed man. his hands and never looked back. Broke back mountain. <laughs> no, 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 that was just him urinating in somebody's face. Whoops, I just got canceled again. Talking about fountains <laughs> and Michael Jackson's in somebody's pants again. Stop mm. it. What on this green earth is happening? Just a little urine and wait. It's a little urine. Did he puffing on a little peep? Did he done? Did he was just following? Did he done? Prince of Michael Jackson's mansion, mm. not slandering. Mm. And he need Mandarin pudding, mm. man. Bill Cosby, mm. get off me before I see dead Michael the sink beat it and can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. This was the type of music that your parents used to listen to. This Look was back. their world back when they were young enough to not even mention you. And mm. the hair twirl, chilling at the mall drive through was the thing to do. So shut up and <laughs> get down in the big style before I get the bell and proceed to punish you. I'm sorry, boys and girls. I had a little too, too much, much to drink. drink. I need some tape and some super glue. glue. Super <laughs> I already know the chorus. What would be the cause? Because you were the big boss, and now it is Chris Rock who eats all the yellow jello and calls all of the big shots. Ah, pudding, I don't mean to be off putting, but what does Puff the Magic Dragon and Michael Jackson have in common besides ramming and acting damaged with a whole lot of fashion? Shut up. Yeah, they were meant to be ill, but instead mentally ill, and I was sent to go kill Bill. If you fit the bill, triple kill. Deal or no deal, deal, deal let me I will. Take another one of Bill Cox. That was tough. Pills and chill for real. I'm friends with the monsters under my bed. Take so one of Bill Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Johnny. Take one of Bill Cosby's pills and chill. <laughs> hey, Johnny, I hate you, dude. That was up. Right, let's go back. You all easy, Paul. Hey, Johnny, I, you clever, dude. You clever. Nobody's doing it like you the bill triple kill yeah. deal or no deal let Yo. that i will take yeah, another man. one of bill yeah, cosby's man. pills and chill <laughs> for real i'm friends with the monsters <laughs> under my bed mm. so puffy's a mobster inside rihanna's head but mm. just like a lobster we chop them up dead and cook them up proper with the side of lettuce yeah mm. who was pandering mr anderson interacting with orders from the magic dragon and whack to bark with two shots to the head and neck and abdomen i cannot imagine that it would be anyone other than oh, D? Mr. Combs, you're over With 50 and still going to these Daddy? parties, don't Pop. you think that's kind of old? Well, no, you don't, and you should go to the retirement home and play uh. with those old fatties that your own uh. age, Mr. Uh. Combs. And growing old, blowing smoke with 15 year olds and broken homes, uh. and you take them home, giving them a snow cone. Uh. Home alone, so I'm told, sold your soul for a golden globe. Now uh. you're broke, no, where to go? Uh. The only motive but you get now is from a cell of homophobes. Oh, you didn't know, so here we go. I'm so go. sorry, I didn't mean it. I was just trying to be everybody's best friends yeah. mm. like batman and robin you keep talking and dropping these wannabe beats and keep rocking with these little 13 year old children thinking mm. that they're fit for a king but they Johnny, only fed up with y'all boy you're laughing nibbling and giggling wishful thinking and some eye winking causing me to believe that you were doing something a little never get a guy you think yes, it'll I be 560 <laughs> Hello boys and girls, this was the type of music that your parents used to listen to. This was their world back when they were young enough to not even Minty. mention you. And the hair twirl, chilling at the mall drive through was the thing to do. So shut up and get down in the end style before I get the bell to proceed to punish you. I'm sorry boys and girls, let me take out my knife and proceed to cut you loose. Johnny! That was crazy Johnny, man, with old school, man. Once again, showcasing the levels of lyricism that it is out here, man, and how he's at that pinnacle and continue to, like, punch punch through, man, to get to that next level, man, and, like, keep making it out there where you think it's over and done and he keeps cracking to that next threshold. And next, you know, another level has been exposed and Johnny's at the pinnacle. You know what I'm talking about? At had a lot in it, man. It had a lot in it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff like that. Hey, Johnny's fed up with all these artists, uh, all these allegations, these scandals from these celebrities out here doing this word stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? The Bill Cosby take a pill and chill. The Bill Cosby thing was hilarious. You know, the pill, the Quaalude, all that kind of hilarious. Johnny's, you're nice with these with these words, Johnny. How you structure and put them together. How about Diddy? You're 50, man. These parties ain't getting old. Exactly. 
Exactly. You're 50 plus, Diddy. Like, you're cooked to me. You're cooked. But these parties ain't getting, oh, it's kind of weird, don't you think? You know what I'm saying? You partying with little 15, 16-year-old Biebers and stuff like that. Come on, man. You know, it's just, ugh. And then, of course, you know what I'm saying? We got the old Mike Jack and that whole spiel. We're not even going to discuss it. It's been around forever. But it's just mainstay now, man. You know the whole Diddy thing is super popular right now. So it makes sense that we're going to have a lot of people start touching on and making spinoffs, making music, making like um, uh, tracks where they're going to be happy, go lucky, ha ha, he funny, diss tracks, hilarious stuff, a more serious tone. Anything like, you know, you're going to just expect a whole lot more music as this goes on because, of course, the interviews and stuff is going to keep popping out, giving people more content to speak on, man. You know what I mean? So, of course, I expect Johnny not to not want to jump on this. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't he put his lyricism to work and craft something like this? And if you just see all the little spins from the, the Kill Bill scenarios, man, from with the Bill Cosby thing to the Mike Jack, the dick. Come on, man. Johnny had a lot of stuff in her. And it's almost like every bar that he does is like, a fascinating one. You know what I'm saying? It piques your mind. It piques your, piques your interest of what it's going to lead into. You know what I'm saying? Especially the videos are always going to be great. You do a fantastic job and they have structuring the videos along with the actual lyrics and what's going on screen to what he's actually saying. That's fire. But if you just sit there and let the, the lyrics process what he's actually saying and the like the lanes and the paths he's going down in his music when he's telling his stories through these bars, man, you see how intricate it really, really is. It's like he does not waste words. You know what I'm saying? It's not filler. It's not no bullshit that I was going to cuss, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to do better of not cussing in the videos. But, you know, hey, I get there one day. That it's not a filler. It's not a lot of BS in there, man. It's like every that he really fine tunes and picks his words wisely. He's not just freestyling off the top of his head and just ramming, you know, brown with round and just going about day because it was simple. You know what I'm saying? It's usually stuff that is really intricate and strictly towards the subject matter at hand, man. I think, man, like I said, Johnny's in a class of his own, in my opinion, man. Like I said, I think he's bar none. Uh, a lot of these mainstream artists, I feel like Johnny can slot right in on a big stage, uh, hold his own. You know what I'm saying? He can be out here and he can craft. You see how much he crafts music, how much he puts music out, man, of just like relevant topics. This ain't even stuff that's like cooked up that he's been sitting on for like weeks, months, days, years. Well, I get this is stuff that is just eating and gets done. Like he's done with this. I wouldn't be surprised. He's in the lab right now. You know what I'm saying? Cooking up some. That else he got. I'm trying to make sure he be having some hidden stuff or two. I see Fat Albert on this on this tape. Fat Albert. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that it wasn't like some hidden message in her because I know Johnny's a tricky character. He's tricky. You know what I'm saying? He'll throw a lot of stuff at you, man. You're not gonna catch it all. You're not gonna catch it all. Johnny's gonna be needing one of these um every lyric breakdowns. You know I'm saying every bar breakdown type song or uh, type of a reaction or artist out there who do that. I implore people who do that who do lyrical breakdowns to actually check out Johnny music, man. You know what I'm saying? And Johnny, I'm going to say this to you, man, submit, reach out to people who do 100% lurk, like they go line by line, man. They You're going to just mm, mind blow them, dude, just because the stuff that I even catch on the second and third playthroughs to see what I missed on the first one is I'm just vibing to it. And like the second time where I'm catching more, so now I can focus on the other stuff that I've heard already that I know about. Now I'm see if I catch new stuff. And then if he needs another playthrough, man, just because it's so much or you feel like you missed something, you want to talk about it. That people with a hundred percent lyrical breakdown on this, man, I'm telling you, it's gonna do nothing. You're gonna blow their minds of just like the intricacies of your rap, man. And like I said, I'm always gonna be a fan, always was a fan, will continue to be a fan. Keep dropping these gems, man. Keep pushing the envelope, trying new things, man. I love how you just keep like elevating and like involving your flow, trying new things, new styles, new mediums, man, new collabs, things like that, man. You're working, baby. Continue to work, and I'm always gonna be here for you to check out what you have up to off man as always man information for johnny will be in the description below man make sure y'all check out crazy johnny man tap in do yourself that favor share it with your family and friends share it on ig as a real facebook all that kind of stuff whatever social media you got man i implore you to and if you like reaction if you like talking about music you like to hear new up-and-coming independent artists man exclusively 
check out the SGFL channel, man. Come join the collective. Come join the group. Come join this, this community, man. With the camaraderie we got, man. So we can tap in, check out some of these new artists that are coming out of pipe, man. I usually upload every single day, man. We got some music dropping as always, man. So I'm always gonna have some fresh content for you guys to check out and um wet your whistle with. You know what I'm talking about? So for me to you, until next time, and it will be soon. It's your boy SGFL, and I'm out.